Hello, my name is Russ from Topper International and today we're going to show you how to change a self baler. So now we're going to show you how to change a baler. We've got the boat ready on its side. Um, you can do this in the dinghy part quite easily by turning it on the trailer. It does need two people. So I've got Stuart to give me a hand on the other side. Tools we're going to use today are 8mm socket, battery drill, and if you're not lucky to have a battery drill, just a normal screwdriver. So to remove the baler, we need to get rid of all the six nuts here. Stuart's on the other side, so we're gonna go top front, down and around. So we take them all out and then the baler will push out to me. Okay, away you go, Stuart. Okay, thank you. Right, just a tip here that um, this first one, you need to get the screw to yourself. So I'm gonna push on here. Stuart is gonna spin the screw out and then pass it over to me and I'll explain why. Thank you. And you can see here I've got the 8mm socket but the nut has sunk down. So you need this screw which we've just taken out just to put in there and remove the screw. It just makes life so much easier. So keep them there and then we'll go round. So ready Stuart? Yep. Okay, so all the screws out, so the baler should now come out now. So as you can see, baler's pretty trashed. We need to replace that. And the baler, yeah, it does need replacing. So they need to go. First thing to check though, is that the seal is all in place around. So it should be a black line all the way around between the white and the red, which there is, so that's all good. We've got a brand new baler here. It's always best to replace the gasket as well. This also acts as compression, so when you put the, um, put the screws in, you don't do them up too tight and it can crack, so it just gives you a little bit. Also, if you push the, back, the baler out, it's the flap is at the back and that goes into the boat like that as well. So put that in and then replace into the boat, make sure the holes line up and then Stuart will put the screws through as I hold this tight. Good thing with this is then when, he, when he's pushing, th pushing the screws through everything lines up. Are you ready Stuart? Yep. So now we're going to replace the nuts on here, but just make sure you put them on by hand gently so you don't cross thread them. So now the, the nuts are on loosely, we're going to tighten them up, but don't over tighten them. If you think you might over tighten them, do them up with just a normal screwdriver, do them by hand. I think that's probably a better, better idea. All right, Stuart? Yep. Okay, so the baler's fitted. Do you need to do one final check? Make sure that the lock clicks out, pushes down, comes back up again. You've made sure that you're in the right way. Click it back. That's it. Job done.